Pascal Siakam was late to basketball, and the college had very few creation reps, only the occasional post face-up where he simply extended to the basket after a single dribble. It wasn't until his second year in the pros that he got any kind of isos and organized basketball when the Raptors eased him into these reps by focusing on mismatches against bigs where Pascal could use his speed and shiftiness. If an opponent played him tight, he could use a torrid first step to get to the rim. He had fewer solutions if they sat back, manufacturing space with shiftiness, but not always executing the full play. Siakam's iso progression was key to the Raptors' 2019 title. He started to figure out how to combine his shiftiness with strength. When he got a step on his defender, he could then drive into them to create the windows needed for his finishing. He learned the subtle art of getting into defender's chest without causing an offensive foul, deadly in combination with his speed and length. My favorite new driving tactic of Siakam's was his oblique angles. It's tough to stay with Pascal through a possession, but especially if he's inventing space with indirect angles to the basket. Of course, his spin move really developed over the season, a perfect tool for him with his length and shiftiness. When opponents really made sure to block off his driving paths, he started to experiment with basic pull-ups. Not the most polished, but smartly starting with easy mid-range pull-ups to build off of those in the future. In the playoffs, it all came together. Just enjoy these isos where he combines all aspects of what we mentioned so far with some impressive touch. Siakam's usage skyrocketed in 2019-20 with Kawhi gone, now up to top 30 in the league to lead the Raptors. He had full runway to get into his possessions earlier, often attacking from above the break with a head of steam. Isos became Siakam's most common usage, and through reps was able to learn how to gain fouls from the advantages he created with his growing collection of moves. To compensate for this, defenders began to sit deeper to protect the lane. Continuing to build upon the prior season, he was much more willing to pull up, hunting for them in mid-range first, but also extending his range out to three-point line. After making only one pull-up three in all of 2018-19, he then splashed 51 at 34% shooting the next season. In turn, defenders had to respect that shot as well, biting off of crossovers and hezzies with Pascal then burning with speed. Siakam had so well tailored his craft at this point to create plenty of space from crossovers alone, his most used move for the first time. Pascal figured out how to manufacture space from any angle with his unreal balance and full confidence in his new arsenal, probing for a workable angle. Siakam is now a precision player, able to create space not just when he wants to, but how he wants to. With oblique shin angles and patience, Siakam utilized combination moves more than solo ones for the first time in his career, often creating space with speed or across then finishing with strength through contact. While not appearing strong at first, his balance and body control, Siakam could carve out a ton of space by using his body as a battering ram against smaller opponents or at times even bigger ones. Finishing just got easier. He learned to not just shoot in gaps, but to attack them as another point of leverage, here overwhelming Blake Griffin to earn an easy paint attempt. Siakam took these principles to yet another level in 2021-22, with the stunning 60 ISO move combos at his disposal. What impressed me this season is his improvement in court mapping, now knowing exactly where the rim protector is and how to time his drive to avoid him. His handle progressed yet again, able to get low to the ground to disguise his moves. His cross into pull-up became a staple, more seamless to keep drive optionality until he makes whatever finishing move. Now he not only uses large gaps to leverage strength, but able to maintain small ones as well, here dragging Lamelo all the way to the rim. Once again, he advances in his move combo, staying low in his cross to gain the space to then apply strength. He has also gotten excellent at reading when to keep the simple move simple, creating an angle with burst for an easy finish here against Mason Plumley, or at least an easy finish for someone with Siakam's level of length and touch. He's become much savvier deciding when to shoot versus not, with a much-deserved green light whenever he has momentum into the paint. Now a top five in the league in ISO points per game, Siakam knows he only has to comp capitalize on a single interaction like a shoulder rub after beating his man off the dribble to get the looks he needs. 
His timing has been most impressive, here spinning right when the lane is vacated. So far in 2022-23, Siakam has figured out how to leverage his scoring not just for himself but for others, once again attacking pockets with intention, but knowing the defense will collapse. His assists per 100 possessions increased from 7 to 9, translating his spatial awareness from just driving to also knowing exactly where his shooters are and how to prolong the kick into his drive. Siakam's ability to diagnose what move to use continues to improve, whether muscling to the rim when there's no rim protector or chewing up space to pull up against shorter coverage. Pascal picks his poison and commits.